Alright guys, today we're going to talk about something that I found very interesting. Now, uh, so interesting, it actually has changed my comic reading experience. Now, if you're one of those comic book readers, and I've heard a lot of people say this, who will actually use like a piece of paper or something to cover up the other page, so that way they're not... Um, they don't glance at it and spoil, you know, the surprise that's coming or a big major scene that's coming. Uh, I have done that a couple of times. I did that with uh, issue 144 of uh, The Walking Dead because it was the end of Compendium 3, so I knew something crazy was going to happen. I have done that before, and I do pay strict attention to what I'm reading so I don't spill over or my eyes don't uh, take a peek over and ruin it for me. I know that's odd, but it's just, I don't know, something I do. So if you're a comic book reader like that, you're going to want to check out this video. Alright, so recently, um, I couldn't make my comic book store. I couldn't travel. I, ha I was having my car worked on, and I had to read the issue to review it, so I said, well, screw it. I'll buy it digitally. So I went with Comixology, but I will say right now, even though I'm like anti-digital, this is going to be... Uh, a must for my comic book reading experience. I will be getting my uh, issue from the comic book shop that I actually collect, but I will always be reading it first digitally through Comixology, and they have nothing to do with this video. They are not sponsoring this. They never even contacted me. I shot them an email and said, listen, I'm making this video. Do you want to do a digital code or uh, a coupon code um, to give people incentive to go over to there? They never got in touch with me back. So I'm making it anyway because I believe in what's going on. So here, let's get right into it because I know you guys are like, shut up and do it already. You pop up what you're reading. Here's The Walking Dead, issue 144. If you haven't read it, we're going to go over a couple panels that might be some spoilers. Uh, but anyway, so you start it off. It's a simple swipe to go to the inside cover. But once we start the comic, this is the game changer. Now, I was calling it for the first two issues I got this on Comixology. I was actually just calling this panel-to-panel -panel slide, uh, but it's called Guided Viewing. What is awesome is you can actually set this to uh, Guided Viewing automatically when you start your issue. So it actually goes panel-to-panel, -panel, but not just panel-to-panel. -panel. It'll go in close for scenes. Here, I'll show you. So we're going to go panel-to-panel. -panel. Now this keeps everything fresh because you, you, your eyes don't peripheral you, when you're reading an actual comic book. And I know this is like petty shit, but for me it's it just makes the experience a whole lot better. Um, your eyes will wander off page, so you can kind of blurry peripheral vision see what's going to happen next. But with this panel to panel, it, I think it is just epic. I like to change the screen depending on the panel, either up or sideways, uh, just depending on making the image bigger. But this is what I'm talking about. It'll do a close-up. See Carl pointing the gun. Then it zooms back out to give you the image. See, when it does these panels like this now, I, I'm like this and this, and you might think, man, that might get annoying. But no, because you, you actually turn it. If you're reading this, uh, you're going to turn it. You're reading this for a few seconds, you know? And then you're reading this a few seconds then you're reading this a couple more seconds so it's not so bad when you're reading the issue like that but here we get into the alpha scene and I love how the uh, guided viewing zooms in on some of these yeah the guy comes over to check on her you know hey alpha what are you doing are you crying bitch and it scrolls down I love that and this is the panel to panel and this is why um, it changed it for me because I love the guided viewing I think it makes reading the issue more enjoyable for me absolutely now keep this in mind I will never stop buying the actual comic uh, to keep my collection because I love having uh, the actual issue especially collecting the covers uh, that's a big deal. Uh, just having the collection for those who like to collect. Okay, and I want to show you another example. When you get to a big scene uh, like this, in the actual comic, this is two comic pages. Now, it'll show you what's going on top because they'll have uh, the little panels at the bottom. They'll have small square panels at the bottom. But then it zooms into the words uh, that are being said in the comic. And then it'll zoom into those panels I was just talking about on the bottom. Uh, now again, like I said, I love turning it so that way it's a bigger image. And then it goes from panel to panel 
from here on out. And these are panels that are on the bottom of that big one you saw in the comic. And it flows smoothly. I love the way this flows. When you're reading the brawl in issue 148 of The Walking Dead, um, I think it is so much better reading it through this guided view. Uh, because you're scrolling through, and it, everything's getting heated, you can see it escalating, and then this guy's like, no, that's bullshit, and he throws something, he wants a plan, Jesus hops up, he, then he gets punched in the face. Just an awesome way to read this. And I hear that not, not all comics are uh, digitally designed to go along with this guided view, but I hear that a lot of them are starting to do this now. But The Walking Dead, I'll tell you right now, they do the guided view. And this is comiXology. I do not know if other digital providers for comic books have this guided view. I do not know that. Right now, I'm really new to comics in a digital platform. Uh, this m video isn't really to discuss digital versus, uh, you know, hard copy. Uh, Again, for me, I will always right now be reading this because of Guided View. If it was not for Guided View, I will be honest, I probably would never even waste my time with digital. Guided View is the selling point for me. That is how much I enjoy reading the issue through this Guided View. Uh, I just feel like I need to make that very clear. That's how uh, much I value that Guided View. I think it just makes the comic reading experience so much better. Um, but I will not stop buying the hard copy. Like I said, I will be waking up, doing what I do throughout the day. If I'm free when the issues come online around 10 o'clock, I believe, I'm on the East Coast. Uh, so 10 a.m., if I'm free, I'll just pop this open. Uh, they have an app right on the phone. It has a X there. You pull that sucker up, you go right to the top, top corner, it goes to my books, boom, your Walking Dead books are there. Here, I got two of them. Yeah, see, I've only read two in this guided view. You got two books, you click on a book, and then down here you have the GV for guided view, or you have pages. So, see, I want to start this over. It's that simple. It's, it, they've made it very user friendly so now I click on guided view and I'm in guided view we're rocking and rolling it's gonna start out right in guided view um, yeah I love it listen I, I don't know I, <laughs> uh, I probably made this video longer than it needed to be uh, I'm just pretty excited about the guided view I wanna share that with you guys because I know I've talked to a couple comic book readers and recently I heard I think it was Meg Stanfield. I recently, I would think it was her who said she did that recently with an issue where she was covering the pages or the panels. And I, I've done that before. You guys know I buy the two comics, and when I was reading a couple of them, and I knew or I had a feeling something big was going to happen, I would just take the the white um, uh, backboard in it um, from the comic that I bought in the plastic sleeve, and I would have it covering the other page. <laughs> Because uh, I don't want to, because we all know, you, you can see what's going to happen. You have this blur of, you know, some crazy shit going on, and you can pretty much tell, oh, someone's getting punched in the face or something like that. Uh, so it, it kind of, uh, yeah, it kind of like it spoils the moment a little bit. Uh, but reading it this way is absolutely epic. So, absolutely epic. Blah, blah, blah. So, if you guys have uh, read digital, but I also do want to put this in here. Um, if you're not living in the United States, I'm almost positive this is international. Getting comics digitally is international. A lot of people ask me, "Yo, Hayes, where do I get? Where do you get your comic books?" And I'm like, as far as I know, you can't order them online. Uh, hard copy. You can buy old issues like um, off eBay and sites like that, but there is no online store where you could just go and, oh, I want this issue, this issue, this issue. I know there is a couple, but you have to buy a you know, minimum of 12 issues, and it they only deliver at the end of every month, so you're always waiting. There's no nothing I know of that you can go online, get the issues, and get them you know right away. They're only $3 for an issue. They're lightweight. The shipping would be a bitch. I mean, it's just not cost effective for a company to send out single issues the day they're released. It's just not cost effective. So digital is the next best thing. You can always go out and order the issues later on. That's fine. Go 
um, have it set up where you're buying them there. But if you want to read it, it's honestly it's only six bucks a month. Um, even when I'm having hard times financially, I can always find a way to afford three dollars to read the the Walking Dead comic. Uh, so, being as it's now digital, if you're having a hard time finding a local comic book shop, or if it's an hour away and you just can't get to it, make plans to buy the issue later on in the month the hard copy um, just bang bang it out digital uh, I think that would help you out a lot now let me know if you guys have uh, tried out comiXology let me know if I really wish they would have got back to me I could have gave uh, you know 20 percent off code or something to get people uh, to give people some incentive to head over there and check them out but let me know if you've tried it out. Let me know if you've tried out the guided view. Let me know if you didn't even know about that and this is your first time hearing it and you're going to shoot over there and check it out. And then for shits, please tell me what do you prefer, digital or in hand? Do you prefer the hard copy? Me personally, I'll tell you right now, I'm hard copy all day, every day. Even though I love this guided view and it actually is more enjoyable to read the comic this way, uh, if you said, okay, you can only pick one, uh, I would pick hard copy and I would just, you know, cover it up myself and go panel to panel. I shit you not, that's how much I love hard copy. I'll never give it up. Uh, like I said, for whatever reason, I, I haven't looked into digital. I don't know how that works. If something goes down or something gets, you know, screwed up. You know, there's no guarantee. There's no guarantee you will always own your copies of The Walking Dead digitally. There is no guarantee, you know? <laughs> I mean, there's no guarantee when you have a hard copy, your house could burn down. But I feel like digital is just uh, not as stable as a hard copy uh, because anything could happen. They could change their rules for whatever reason and you have to renew it and rebuy issues. And I'm not saying that's likely at all because fans would be pissed and there'd be shit hitting the fan but if there was um if the business went under what if comiXology went under or they changed what they were doing i don't know um it's unlikely again it's unlikely i'm just expressing concerns i have because i didn't research you know uh, at the end of the day it all matters on preference of collecting it which is Number one, I mean, that's the, the biggest reason why I have a comic book collection for The Walking Dead, because I like the collection, the covers, and everything. Digital, for me, does not have the same feel. It's not the same at all. It just, it loses some of that. It loses a little bit of the magic, you know, when it's in hand, uh, you're holding the art as opposed to it being digital. You feel, um, for me personally, you kind of feel separated from it somewhat. Again, everything I asked, all your opinions about the digital hard copy, the guided view, especially if you have heard of it, how do you like it? If you haven't heard about it, um, go check it out and then come back and tell me what you think. Put those in the comment box. I'm done talking. It's your turn. Subscribe now.